Welcome. Let's take a look at some examples using the angle angle similarity theorem. So let's consider the figure on the right hand side. The first thing that we want to do, we want to determine if the triangle ABC is similar to the triangle DBE. Triangle ABC is the triangle on the left. And triangle DBE is the triangle on the right. Notice that we have two pairs of parallel lines, AC and ED. Let's consider CE as if it was our transversal. And if that is the case, then notice that angle C is congruent to angle E. There are alternate interior angles. So let's annotate that angle C is congruent to angle E. And then in addition, notice that we have two vertical angles, this angle on the right and this angle on the left. And with this, we can conclude that these two triangles are similar to each other. We can use the angle angle similarity theorem because there are two angles in the green triangle which are congruent to two angles in the yellow triangle. Now, let's try to find the length of BE. But before we move any further, notice that we can also say that angle A is congruent to angle D. Let's think of a strategy. Now we know that these two triangles are similar to each other. Therefore, all sides must be proportional to each other. Let's define those proportions. The side that is opposite to the angle we one arc must be proportion to the side that is opposite of the angle we one mark on the right hand side. So we can say that AB is proportional to BD. The side that is opposite to the angle with two arcs must be proportional to the side that is opposite to the angle with two arcs on the right hand side. So we can say that AC is proportional to ED. And the side that is opposite to the angle with three arcs must be proportional to the side that is opposite to the angle with three marks on the other triangle. So we can say that CB is proportional to BE. Now let's place down the information that we know. AB is of a value of 36. And BD is of a value of 54. AC, we don't know the length of it, so let's keep it as AC. And ED, we don't know the length of it, let's keep it as ED. CB has a length of 54. And BE is what we're looking for. One thing to notice is that what we're looking for, BE, it's on the last proportion. And if all proportions are equal to each other, let's set the last proportion equal to the first proportion because we actually know the value of that proportion. So now we can build a small equation. Now we can use algebra to solve for this. Let's start by cross multiplying. Now let's simplify this 36 times BE. Let's just keep it as 36 times BE. And 54 times 54, that's 2916. And to properly solve for BE, notice that it's been multiplied. So let's do the opposite. Let's divide. And therefore, BE is of a value of 81. So we properly found the length of BE. Let's take a look at another example. The objective of this example is to find the length of RT, which notice that is the upper part of this figure. Now let's think of a strategy. One thing that we notice is that the figure on the right hand side, there are two overlapping triangles, RSB and RTC. So let's draw each of those triangles separately. Is there anything that we can say about these triangles? Notice that angle R is present on both triangles. 
Therefore, we can say that angle R is congruent to angle R. And at this point, we can make a big conclusion. We can state that both of those triangles are similar to each other by the angle angle similarity theorem. Because we have similar figures, we can conclude that all sides are proportioned to each other. RS, which is the side opposite of the angle with three marks, is proportioned to RT, which is the angle opposite of three marks in the second triangle. SB, which is the angle opposite of two marks, has a proportion with side TC, which is the angle opposite of two marks in the second triangle. RB is proportion to RC. Notice that they're both opposite of the angle with one arc. Now let's place on the information that we know. RS is of 6. RT, we don't know the value of it, so let's keep it as RT. SB has a length of 8. And TC has a length of 12. We don't know the length of RB, so let's keep it as that. And we don't know the length of RC. So we, let's just keep it as that. Notice that RT, it's on our first proportion. Well, let's set the first proportion equal to the second proportion because we know the actual value of the second proportion. And with that, we can build a small equation. We can cross multiply here. Let's finish it up here on the top. 6 times 12 is 72, and that is equals to 8 times RT. Notice that 8 and RT are multiplying, so let's divide by 8 to eliminate the value. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.